IHCN Studios, it's Braves Beat. Hello Braves, and welcome to our first episode of Braves Beat for the fourth quarter. I'm Lizzie Crandall. And I'm Gino Cardosi. We got a lot of news to cover, so let's get started. A lot of news. There's four stories. <sighs> yeah, sorry to all of you who are stuck in class right now. It's going to be a short episode. March is Women's History Month, and this year's theme is Women Who Advocate for Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion. In her famous speech to the Ohio Women's Rights Committee, Sojourner Truth advocated for better treatment of women and the enslaved, and famously declared all humans equal, regardless of race or gender. The Indian Hill School District welcomes Angelo Sylvester as the new choral director for Indian Hill High School. He's coming to the district from St. Xavier, where he was the director of choirs and theater. We should have him on the show for an interview sometime soon. Eli and John have this week's sports report for us. Take it away, guys. Thanks, Gino and Lizzie. Hello, Braves, and welcome to this week's sports report. I'm Eli Riggs. And I'm John Anning. Starting things off in baseball, the boys had a scrimmage on Tuesday versus Oak Hills where they lost 8-5. to Then on Thursday, they scrimmaged Turpin, and we will have those scores for you next week. In softball, the girls play Goshen this Thursday, and we will have those scores for you next week. Vitaly Cristo qualified for the OHSAA state tournament at the Schottstein last weekend and came up short losing his first two matches, but he wrestled well and plans to return again next season. Congrats, Vitaly, on a great year on the mats. The boys lacrosse team had two scrimmages this past week against Granville and Beaver Creek, unfortunately losing both. The Braves played Walton Verona on Wednesday for their home opener, and we will have those scores for you next week. Girls lacrosse is off to a strong start after a 14-6 win on Saturday versus Sacred Heart Academy. Then our ladies rolled past Turpin 20-5 in their home opener, taking them to 2-0 on the year. There's an Easter cheerleading fundraiser. Buy your eggs soon and our cheerleaders will hide your eggs on March 30th, the night before Easter. To purchase your eggs and to learn more, go to www.indianhillbraves.org tickets. This Wednesday, we had our signing day for Indian Hill athletes. Congrats to the nine athletes who signed. Good luck at the next level. Well, that's all the sports news we have for this week. Back to you guys at the news desk. Thanks for the update, guys. Runners, walkers, and stroller pushers are invited to the 13th annual Conquer the Hill on Saturday, April 27th. The 5K starts at 8.30 a.m. with a kid fun run following at 9.30 a.m. All participants registered prior to April 1st will receive an Indian Hill t-shirt. Click on the link in the description for more details. I have the opportunity to sit down with next year's new principal, Andy Gruber. Roll the clip. Hey, Bruce. Uh, today we're here with our new principal for next year, Mr. Andy Gruber. How you doing, man? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm Thanks doing, for having me. Of course, man. I'm doing all right. Thanks for coming. So, uh, where are you from? Are you from Cincinnati? Or? Yeah, born and raised on the east side of town, if you uh, know where Lunkin Airport is. Um, I grew up right up the hill from there. So, did you go to high school here? Or? Yeah, I went to St. Xavier High School um, on the west side of town. Um, so, that was a really good four years of experience. Uh, college too or yeah so it, after uh, St. X I went to Xavier University so uh, I uh, yeah, I found you know not many people find a place closer to where they live when they decide to go to co the college route um, but I somehow magically made that happen it was a great four years there as well so is Indian Hill your first posting or have you been around to other schools yeah no I outside of school I started um, I started my teaching career at Sycamore schools where I was a math teacher uh, student taught there and was there for about 10 years total uh, got the bug to you know want to have a greater impact in, in education um, sometimes if you want to uh, increase your opportunities for um, you know making an, an impact sometimes you find different leadership routes and for me I wanted to see where that led um, down the administration route uh, so I ended up at uh, St. Xavier High School as the director of enrollment management did that um, missed working with kids every day and working with teachers so um, in 2020, in the fall of 2020, in the middle of the pandemic, I found myself here at Indian Hill and had the great opportunity to work at the primary and the elementary. So I've been here for four years. All right, so you're coming in the principal. Uh, what makes you the best candidate for that position here? Well, you know, my personal experience and my professional experiences have been in places where excellence and, you know, academics, athletics, um, clubs and activities are just kind of like the norm and the expectation, not only for students, uh, but from parents in the community. And this place exudes that those qualities uh, for sure um, I've been invested with the strategic plan and our strategic plan here in, in Indian Hills all about how we can ensure that students dreams become reality um, so for me it's it felt like a no-brainer to try to continue to grow as a leader in this district and I think I can have a huge impact growing through relationships and getting to know students to ensure that we're you know moving our district 
but it, uh, most importantly our high school into a position where more students have the opportunity to do whatever they um, think is going to get them to their next step. All right, so you've been here for about four years now? Yeah. Right? Or, or what do you like most about Indian Hill? You know, I think what makes Indian Hill super special is the size, right? It's big enough where you have opportunities and choice. You know, more choices you have, more opportunities for people to figure out what are their interests, what are their, um, you know, what paths they want to take down the road. But it's small enough where you feel like you know everybody around. You can, uh, you know, when there's a visitor on campus, that was sort of the feeling I had when I went to Xavier University. It was small enough where you knew a guest was uh, visiting your campus and you wanted to treat them like this is your home. Um, so I think it's, it's a great size. It's a great community. Last night I was uh, driving down Drake Road and there were events going on in multiple of the buildings. The fields were alive. It's just a pretty special place to be, um, to have so much amazing things happen on this like mile stretch. Yeah. Uh, so you're coming in first year principal. Do you have any short term goals or even long term goals? That you yeah, you know, long, I'm not really too focused on long term right now. It's all about building relationships, building connections. There's a lot of people to get to know. Um, when I started off here, again, I was in two buildings. So large number of people to build connections with. That's exciting. Like, what a great opportunity to start to you know understand and listen. So my short-term goals is really just do a lot of listening um, to understand you know what what is the current culture of uh, Indian Hall High School, and what, what where does it need to go? All right. Uh, so Mr. Domino is still going to be on campus. Or yeah. Or is he still going to be involved in anything shadow government? Style, oh well, his or? his role is now K to 12. So how awesome is that, right? We we know what a great impact he made here at the high school, and he's still currently making. Um, so now every student K to 12 in our district, over 2,000 students are going to be impacted by the work that he's doing to build leaders. That's pretty incredible. So uh, we're definitely going to be collaborating, and he's a great person to do it with. Yeah. Uh, so you've been. Since now all your life, do you have any hobbies outside of school or your job or anything? Or? Yeah, it sounds like I don't get outside of the 275 loop <laughs> too much. So in order to do that, I love traveling. Right. Um, I'm an avid traveler whenever possible. Um, big sports fan, so all the Cincinnati sports team, including Xavier. Um, so yeah, I love go, you know attending those things, uh, traveling, being with family. I'm very lucky to have 13 nieces and nephews, so they keep me busy. They got a lot of activities. Right. So. Uh, so principal now do you have any other aspirations for higher positions or are you kind of no I mean I'm there? feeling pretty good I so you got to <laughs> let me know if there's a position uh, you know, here I can tell you any uh, <laughs> I, my athleticism isn't great so I would say anybody who's worried that I may try to take their coaching position that's not gonna happen but uh, I think being the principal here at the high school is a pretty awesome awesome uh, position to have so I'm really excited about that and that's good for now all right well I think that's the end of our time now so is there anything else you want to say before we sign off? Yeah, no, just looking forward to uh, meeting everybody. And I know you're a senior. I wish you best of luck uh, on your next adventures. And I look forward to uh, meeting the future Braves who are walking in um, come the fall. All right. Well, thanks for coming on. Yeah, no, appreciate it. To you. Yeah, yeah. We'll, yeah, we'll send it back to you at the desk. Thank you to Mr. Gruber. We are looking forward to next year. Here is Mr. Johnson with this week's two words. Here are your two words for the week. Knock, knock. I'm sure we've all heard that when opportunity knocks, you have to be willing to open the door. But here's a thought. Right now, in our world, there are more chances to do amazing things than ever before. Thanks to technology, we all have the ability to learn new things and meet people from all over much easier than ever before. But here's the secret. Just because you're able to see opportunity, that isn't enough to make you successful. What really makes the difference is what you do with opportunity. Success is not something that just lands in your lap. It's like a project. You have to build it piece by piece every day by using what you've got around you. Sometimes people think that finding opportunity is just about luck, like winning the lottery or some big prize, and it just happens by chance. But opportunity is not about luck. Opportunity is about work. Leaders always remember this, and leaders make sure that they build the doors that lead them to the places that they want to go. Doing things and taking action, that's what leads you to success, not just sitting around waiting for something to come knock on the door. When you're consistent and you're giving in your actions, you will reap the benefits of your action in the future. Stop complaining that opportunity hasn't knocked on your door. I need you to start building the door that you eventually want to knock on. That's your two words for the week. Go Braves. Thanks, Mr. Johnson, for that advice. All right, Braves, that's all the news we have for this week. So, Gina, there's no tech week, so you're going to go get some sleep, right? Ha! No, Grand Prix is at uh, midnight this week, so I'm up till at least 2 a.m. Okay. Well, be sure to follow us on X and Instagram, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. 
And remember, stay, stay classy, classy, Indian Hill. Hi, Braves. Today we're going to be asking people about their plans for spring break. Hi guys, what are your guys' plans for spring break? You can go first, Alex. Arizona. Cool. Uh, I'm staying in Cincinnati. Oh, that kind of sucks. Yeah. Any plans at home? Um, I'm probably just hang out with friends. Fun. Rutherford, what are your plans for spring break? Uh, probably lay in my bed a lot. What you missed? <laughs> How did you miss the dunk? Green! Hey! Plans for spring break. Arizona with my boy Robert. What are you doing there? I honestly have no idea yet. What's in Arizona other than desert? More desert. Are you here with the birthday boy? What are your plans for spring break? Stay at home, chill. Fun. Spring break plans. Uh, Hilton Head. Uh, who are you going with? Uh, Drew. Raider. Okay, good. Um, why? Uh, I have a condo down there. Hi, Andrew. What are your plans for spring break? I'm going to Cancun. What are you doing in Cancun? Big Cat, what are your plans for spring break? Um, I'm going to Tampa for baseball. Are you doing that the entire time or just like a little bit? Like, mostly majority. All right. Hi, Parma. What are your plans for spring break? Hey, Gonzo, what are your plans for spring break? I'm going to Jackson Hole to ski. <laughs> I thought that was going south. 